Welcome, Mitchell Bouchard here with Red Cape Sports. I uh, just want to say what is going on. So I binge recorded tons of episodes and this is the next one. Hopefully you've been enjoying the Pokemon episodes because I know I have. Um, it's been very interesting to see the market just absolutely explode even in the past few weeks. So to me, it's somewhat mesmerizing. Um, what I want to do, just a quick, simple episode. Um, I want to know if you all have ever gone back into your boxes on your shelves and have noticed or thought, hey, this player either won the World Series or this player uh, made it far in playoffs. You know, Tyler Hero definitely popped off. His prices went through the roof when they made it to the finals. So now he's gonna be a big time card to have in this upcoming season. Right now I have a Tyler Hero Disco Prism, I believe, being graded. I got the photo right here on my phone. Um, that was a card that I didn't even realize I had till I went through my box. So I have a tendency of keeping every card in pretty good condition. I sleeve every rookie that I have so I can go back to the card if they pick up, if they become a more dominant player. And that's what this is about. So number one, we've got a Kyle Lewis rookie card. So Kyle Lewis has obviously popped up, been performing like crazy, smacking the ball. Um, and again, a nice card. I believe this card is valued over $40. So these cards that I have in my hand, these are of players that have popped off. So I am extremely excited about it. Um, needless to say, it's pretty exciting to go through your box of new rookies and you find some hidden gems. So here's one of them. Um, and all these cards are worth grading. So I found a couple, but they weren't worth grading. The next one I found in my box is a Will Smith. So catcher. So obviously the LA Dodgers won the World Series and this happens to be a pretty good card. So if you're opening up these tops baseball at the time, um, you could have some hidden gems as well. So again, World Series winner, rookie contenders, um, just absolute madness. The other card I found was a nice Chris Paddock and this is gonna be a more of a variant card. So as you can see here, it's got a little bit of that um, army type of colors. We actually had that when I played in the States. We had these really cool uniforms um, and our cleats were actually in this camo. So I thought that was really cool. And then obviously, um, no brainer, this is going to be his Lakers. So his Prism Laker card, this card, all these cards, I hope they grade, you know, a PSA nine um, or better. Um, maybe we can get a 10. Again, the value these cards are going through the roof. You know, when you go through your box and you're thinking you just have like some crappy cards or weaker rookies, I tend to write weak rookies. Um, I'll use a piece of tape and I'll rip it off, put it on my box. I try not to write on my boxes because if I use the tape, I can take the tape off and then I could just grab a new piece, put on the box and write something on it. So I want to hear from you. I want to know if there are any rookie cards or, you know, recent discoveries. Have you ever gone through your box, maybe this is an eye opener. Maybe you need to go to your box right now and you know maybe discover some key players that you didn't know you had. I had no idea that I had a Kyle Lewis rookie. I will admit that is the one where I was like, whoa, I got a beauty Kyle Lewis. Um, I do have a Randy um, a Rosarina rookie card as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's not worth grading, unfortunately. It's got a little scratch on there. So I'm gonna keep that as a raw card. So I still got a Will Smith, I got a Paddock, I got a LeBron James Prism, not the silver, but still beautiful cards. So I wanna know what you think. If you go through your box and find any hidden gems that you're previously unaware of, don't be afraid to hit us up at Red Cape Sports. That's gonna be our Facebook group. It's a pretty cool community there. You can share, post, um, tag us in the um, on Facebook. Um, we got Bird Bouchard there and me, Mitchell Bouchard. So uh, we hope to see you there and let me know what you found in your boxes.